of this classical match. Exactly. Um, hi, Anna. So, uh, your today's game was an open Sicilian. Um, I wanted to ask you about um, about this about this move a4. So, um, it seems, um, I mean, from a human point of view, um, it seems like you were giving up on the b4 square and that maybe bishop can go on uh, on b4 and try to create problems on the on the four square. Uh, what was the point of the a4 move? Yes, I agree. It looks a bit strange, but the computer suggested. <laughs> 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 So you 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 already you had this position in your database, right? Uh, yes, I think so. Um, well, the idea is to maybe if it will be allowed to put the pawn on a5 and to fix this weakness on a6, which uh, you try to uh, to play for later on. Uh, but. Uh, well, I don't know, bishop e7 looks normal, because if she plays, for example, bishop b4 here, I just play bishop d2. Yeah, and obviously, I guess you cannot take on, on e4, right? Yeah, knight e4 is not possible. Um, bishop c3, also bishop c3, uh, it's fine for me. Um, d4, uh, after d4, I think I have e5, and uh, I should be better. Um, so, okay, we can we can this before square is uh, doesn't look like so. Uh, it's such a big deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, such a big deal. And okay. And uh, next question, I wanted to ask you um, about this. Oh, sorry, about this. Why is it this. yellow? May I ask <laughs> you some questions? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, okay, so basically this was, I think, the, the critical moment of, of your game when you, when you exchanged this... Uh, I this think another screen. one was uh, before H6. Um, um, yes, you could wait for oh, yes, it. Yes, 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 sure, sure. Yeah, so this, this move H6 is, is giving up uh, a pawn. Uh, maybe she felt under, under pressure uh, at this moment and... Uh, uh, you think h6 was not necessary, right, for, for black? No, there are just some other options. It's not like it's a bad move, but uh, um, one of my plans is to play king e2 and then double the rooks on the h file and then try to get the pawn back. And if I manage that, then my pawn structure is better. And uh, she decided to go for counterplay immediately with h6, so... Okay, it makes sense. So then uh, many moves are more or less forced. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, and and you, then we come back to this uh, to this moment where where you took on on d six. So basically, here, did you think you could uh, you could play for something? And did you think uh, that you had the, an edge, or you maybe just? I consider different moves here, mm -hmm. like bishop c four, a five, but. Uh, I didn't see how uh, I can play for one. I think I spent like 20 minutes here because it's the last clear critical moment. Mm -hmm. And so, so the computer gives g4 with the point that, okay, you you will somehow play against this uh, this e4 pawn, and if you get the, the pawn to to g5, then maybe this pawn can become weak. But still, I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not uh, a super super big deal either, but yeah, computers say that it's the only way to claim for an advantage. G4 looks logical, but uh, it's a bit double-edged because you always have to be ready to play G5 after F5 and then you allow F4. So I think after G4, black will try to keep the rooks on the board. Uh, let's say King C7. Mm -hmm. And then if I go somewhere with the bishop from f1, I should just move uh, on the h file. Yeah, for example, like here, maybe bishop d4, and do you... I don't know, maybe rook h8. Okay. Yeah, and I guess, I mean, this position can, can continue for... Uh, 
It, yeah, it then some bishop c6, even after a5 you can play bishop yep. c6, because I can't take her. Uh, I thought even some b4 ideas, but okay, it's like almost the perfect moment to get it, and uh, uh, still, uh, it's a big question how much I'm threatening to get in this pawn. I mean, okay, I'll get this pawn in c5, uh, and maybe black doesn't need to, to allow that, uh, but still it's quite unclear. Yeah, I mean, it was like the only way, basically, you could have some pressure on... Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Because after, after rook takes d6, uh, sorry, here, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so after rook takes d6, um, then, I mean, nothing much was happened. She found this correct idea with rook takes f2 and afterwards... Yeah, against the silent rook f2, but... <laughs> not that difficult. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, of course. But then after the the bishop's endings was pretty equal. Okay, so um, I also want to uh, wanted to ask you if if your sister stayed with you to to support you until the the end of the tournament. I uh, know she left. Oh, she left. Okay. <laughs> but I hope she still supports me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay um, so what did you do in the in the red day? Yesterday. Uh, relax a little bit and prepare for today's game. So just. So tomorrow like is, the, is the last uh, classical game, right? Yes. So, uh, are you expecting to uh, to get to another tie break again, or? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> We will see, right? Okay, thanks a lot, uh, Anna, for your for your explanations, and uh, see you tomorrow. Thanks, Jean.